Well, good morning, folks. Here's to another video. I'm uh, getting this rig hooked up because I'm going to square bail all this. missing a little bit this morning so i'm hoping you know the mist doesn't last too long but the top side of this grass is dried out pretty well so when i rake it if a little bit of moisture from the top gets in the middle of the windrow it should be all right as long as it uh doesn't miss do this all day so um being in a windrow it'll dry out but if it does this all day i'll let it dry out tomorrow and then uh, rake it again friday and bail swap out these hydraulic lines so this thing can uh i'll do the same thing I'll let these things flow and keep the hydraulics in neutral so let me swap these out real quick bleed off the pressure I think this one's going to make a whole lot of hay, sadly, but it's a great opportunity to learn how to run that square baler. So that's, uh, that's the best part of it. And I'm selling it, I'm selling the hay just enough to cover my cost of fuel and a little bit of wear and tear on the equipment. First time ever running a square baler, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I can do this holding the camera and operating. Details engaged. Pulling it in, and it looks like it's stuffing it. Pay attention here as I'm driving, so I miss the windrow. So I'm going to stop here in just a second, see if it's uh, working in the shoot or not. Stop down here. Alright, let's see what happens. 
Look at that. Well, <laughs> it made a tie. There's a break right here. We got another one started, so how about that? The end of this thing looks all funky. I don't know, is that normal? Is it too tight? I mean, it's kind of loose right here. Is that how, when you start your first bell, is that how it ends up? Because this right here, all oh, this, this next one that started bunched up and tight, but man, Pretty cool. Alright, engage the PTO. I gotta try faster speed. 460. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it worked. How about that? Let's go take a look at it. Success, I think. Got a nice tie on this bale. Oh man, these are, are these shorter than normal or what? Look how long that sucker is. Sure didn't come out funky. All right, I'm gonna keep rolling with it and I'll check back in if something happens or towards the end. All right, I'm done. Just finished, got it all bailed. Made 235 square bales. I thought I would do about 100 to 150. A couple of them, like that one that's squished, I've ran into it with the tractor, but most of them are all pretty consistent. Very few of them were kind of banana shaped. And uh, the baler didn't, didn't miss a beat. For being a 30 year old baler, getting it out, putting some grease in it, lubricating the chains and making sure no, no bearings were loose or uh, seized up. And it hadn't been used in over 10 years. So it, uh, man, 
It did awesome. The bells that are sitting on their side like that, that's what this little chute does. And they have to sit on their side for this hay stacker, the stack liner to pick them up. And that thing, uh, if you don't know what that is, you ought to look one up. They're pretty neat. But that thing, I think, will stack 110 bales or 104 or something like that. But it puts them into a big old stack and it stands them up. So I'm going to I'm gonna attempt to get that going, I think. Eventually, I'm going to square bale my coastal fields once I get them uh, cleaned up without any blue stem and other little bit of trash. I'm almost there. But... I guess I'll end the video here. I appreciate y'all's support, like always, and I really do appreciate the thumbs up. You're helping the channel grow. And those of you that are commenting, commenting um, with your experiences and what you do, or uh, if you have questions or whatever, I, I do appreciate it. And I'll try to uh, keep uh, making videos like this and, and answering y'all's questions. But um, I guess until the next one, see you next time.